I have no idea how I haven't yet covered this topic, but for anyone who has ever struggled with anxiety and really with mental health issues in general, then you know just how frustrating and disappointing and exhausting it can be to try and explain your experience and what is going to be helpful for you to those around you. So for those of you who have gone through the trenches or maybe you're in the trenches with your anxiety, this is a resource for your loved ones. You can send it to them. Feel free to comment below if you would add anything or if you have found different strategies that have been helpful for you that I haven't included. I'd love to just have a comprehensive list so you can just send a resource to them and it can be as simple as that. And for the friends and loved ones who come across this video who are just searching for ways to help your people who may be struggling with anxiety, here are four simple tips to help you help them. When someone is struggling with anxiety, it can feel like they no longer have control over their thoughts, their emotions, or their behaviors. Every decision can feel as though it's stemming from a place of desperation. This can be an extremely isolating experience, made even worse when friends and loved ones express frustration with them. As human beings with such a deep desire for connection to others, anxiety has a way of making us feel like we're alone in this struggle. So simply reminding them that they are not alone in this struggle, that they are not the anxiety that plagues them, and that you will always be there for them can really go a long way to support them. Start a conversation with them about what is going to help them the most when they're feeling anxious. But don't do this when they're in a state of anxiety. That can just make it even more frustrating and overwhelming for them. So try to have this conversation when you're both in a good headspace so you can have a productive and open communication type of conversation. If you choose to go with having a conversation, here are a few questions that might be beneficial for you. What triggers your anxiety? Anxiety is made even more uncomfortable and frightening when we don't know why we're feeling anxious. Asking this question helps them to kind of piece apart what their triggers are and it helps you to be more aware of just what they're going through and what situations they might need the most support in. Another question that might be helpful is asking what helps them feel calm and safe? Simply asking this question helps your friend or loved one review what has helped them in the past. You can even work together to write these down so they have a bit of an action plan the next time they do feel anxious. Another question to ask is how can I best support you when you are feeling anxious? To be perfectly honest, they probably already know what is not helpful. And while that's a great place to start, it's good to have that conversation or to have that dialogue about what is actually going to be helpful in the moment rather than just, I don't want you to do that. Together you can come up with some behaviors that you can engage in or maybe they can engage in that can really help be supportive in the moment. Would they be comforted by having a hug in that moment or would it be better if you just gave them some space? Does it help them to talk about their anxiety or would they prefer to process it on their own time? It may take some trial and error to figure out what is going to be the best, but together you can figure it out. I know that it can be so challenging to truly understand someone with an anxious mind if you've never experienced that type of inner turmoil before. Simply doing a quick Google search or watching this video like you're doing now can go such a long way in letting your friend and loved one know that they matter to you, that you're doing the research to try and understand and that you're gonna do your best to help support them, even if you can't fully empathize. Once you know a little bit more about anxiety, you can be a more active participant in some of those collaborative conversations with them. You'll have a better understanding of what anxiety actually is, and you'll have a bit of a glimpse into what anxiety can feel like for them. It is really easy to become frustrated with our loved ones or our friends who experience anxiety when we are viewing their anxious behaviors as personal attacks, even when they're not. For instance, if our partner calls or texts us multiple times in a row when we maybe aren't responding in a normal fashion, that can be 
frustrating, depending on how we're looking at that behavior. And it may be our first instinct to think, oh my gosh, they're being so clingy, I just need some space. More than likely though, our partner is engaging in this kind of persistent behavior out of love as well as out of fear. Perhaps their brain is telling them that something bad must have happened to us. And so they're reaching out in a bit of desperation, just wanting to hear your voice to know that you're okay because they're afraid of losing you. Practicing empathy here and trying to really understand the why behind their anxious behavior can go a really long way in just helping decrease your own frustration and improving communication between you both. If these tips have been helpful for you at all, please do let me know by hitting that like button or dropping me a comment down below. I'd love to hear what strategies have been most helpful for you or if there are ones that have been helpful for you or your loved ones that I did not include in this list, I would love to hear those as well so I can put together a more comprehensive resource. Take care and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.